Hello friend, this is Rajendra Kumar Yadav with the YouTube channel See More to Learn More. Today we will see that uh, how to access the MySQL database using the PHP APIs. Okay, so firstly you have to make sure that your server must be on of the both Apache as well as MySQL. MySQL server should be start for the database access and the Apache server should be start for the PHP processing okay for that I have make a video I will provide that in the card to access the video <coughs> normal as you know that how to start the PHP tags you have to make that after that you have make a variable like connection it is a variable you can uh, select any name for that and after that my sqli underscore connect it is a function and here the parameter is required that are first one is host name after that username then the password for that and at the last of this the database by which you are want to connect okay And if uh, the thing is not being connected, since this error will be displayed. Okay, so write a message here. Couldn't connect, something like that. Okay, and here check it that if or directly you can write a uh, echo message, or uh, you can firstly test that if the connection variable is set, then echo here connection is. S S E S successful. Okay, something like that. Okay, whatever the message you want, you can uh, write without any problem. And at the end, my SQLI underscore close. Okay. my sql and that is uh, that is closed and here you have to pass the variable name okay now go on the browser and just type the host name you can see the connection is successful if you're making some mistakes over here like uh, this and try to reload and get the information you're seeing the message that couldn't connect okay here you can my sqli underscore connection error okay likewise it is a function which return the error oh sorry i think so that's connect error yeah you can see here that it is an uh, unknown database okay here you can just do the break and error uh, returned by mysql server okay that is like so and you can reload and see the exact error that was it okay unknown mysql database and there is no any database with the name of this okay if you're doing it uh, like mysql and again reload it and you can see that it is connected successfully sometime the errors come <coughs> uh, that extensions uh, that are required to enable the dynamic library of mysql using php is not enabled since what should you do for that so uh, you have to follow some command like go on the e etc folder there is a php folder okay they are two different version for five for seven but my php was in seven okay and after that apache you can see here that a file named with php.ini it is a configuration file of the php under which all the extensions are taken care after that a config.d file is also included in this version here you can see mm, yeah sorry ls ls okay so you can see that in a folder 
there is a file uh, named mysqli.ini okay this file having the configuration to connect the mysqli you can print it cat and then uh, like this okay you can see here if you disable it from here since you cannot access it and uh, if you using some other version of php or the ubuntu and there is no such file and you are not able to be connected so you have to make sure that you add this file uh, sorry this content okay in your php.ini file okay go in the ext section ext as extension okay okay sorry that is required root permission to add this file and uh, here you have to search extension that is not so yeah there is extensions file uh, you have to go or you can just add ext enson dot php there is mysql i dot so only after that your extensions will be enabled hope so that you get it <coughs> and uh, after this you have to restart your uh, web server as well as the mysql server then you are uh, being able to access it thank you for watching it thank you so much if you all like this video so please subscribe the channel like the video and share the video in between your friends thank you for watching